Hi everyone, I am your Punnam Venkat. SAP S4 HANA payment term. So this is the second session. The first session we successfully completed fixed payment terms. And now we are going to discuss installment payment term. So who are directly watching this uh, session? First you can watch fixed payment term. Then later you can watch installment payment term for uh, more understanding. Okay, If you watch like that, you will get more understanding, effective understanding. Okay. Anyway, just briefly discuss about what is meant by payment term. What is meant by payment term? Payment term is calculating the invoice due date, vendor and customer. It is consist of fixed payment term like uh, standard due date, installment payment term like installment due dates and it can be consist of discounts for the vendors and customer. Everyone, payment term main AM is after posting the invoice, if you generate the reports, maybe vendor reports and customer reports, after posting the invoice, if you generate the reports of specific invoice, there the due date want to come. When we want to pay for specific invoice, when we want to receive for the specific invoice, the due date will go into specified on the specific report. So in the previous session, we given more information about the payment term for the overview and all. Now we successfully completed, like in the previous session, we successfully completed fixed payment term. Now we are going to discuss installment payment term for the vendor and for the customer. What is mean by installment payment term? How it can be worked? How it can be worked? Let us take one scenario everyone. Let us take one scenario. Example, my company code is my company code is IA10. Let us take everyone concentrate here. My company code is IA10. I have one vendor. The vendor is called I have one vendor AB098 Private Limited. Private Limited. It's called vendor. It's called vendor. So where we will create the vendor? We will create the vendor on BP, business partner. And everyone, concentrate here, everyone, concentrate here. Me and my vendor, me means my company code. Me and my vendor have a mutual understanding. What is that mutual understanding? Whenever my vendor will send the invoice, whenever my vendor will send the invoice, example, let us assume invoice, invoice, uh, date uh, example 20, 10, 20, 23, amount is called one line. Amount is called one line. Example, whenever my vendor will send the invoice, how we will do the payment everyone? How we will do the payment? Me and my, I mean, my vendor mutual understanding. How we will pay the vendor? Installment process. Installment process. Example, let us assume we will make the payment of installment process. Example, example, first installment, 50% of payment, 50%, 10 days. First installment, we will make the payment. Example, let us assume. First installment, we will make 10 days from the invoice date, 50%. How much amount? Example, my invoice value is 1 lakh. So payment value is 50,000. Second installment, second installment, 20 days. 20 days. 50% value is 50,000 everyone let us try to understand here everyone let us try to understand this example everyone 
me and my vendor have one mutual understanding me and my vendor have one mutual understanding whenever they send the invoice from the invoice date onwards first installment we can make made the payment 10 days 50% second installment we can make the payment i mean 50% this is the amount and this is the invoice amount so after posting the invoice if you generate the reports the report want to shows how much first installment you want to pay on which date how much amount and how much second installment want to pay on which date how much amount same way for the customer side also same way for customer side also example my customer is ac and uh, h089 private limited any customer for example customer where we will create the customer we will create on bp and me and my customer have one mutual understanding me and my customer also have one mutual understanding what is the mutual understanding whenever my i mean whenever i send invoice to my customer example invoice example invoice date 20 10 2023 amount is called 1 lakh whenever i send the invoice to my customer my customer will do the make the payment of installment payment make the payment of installments make the payment of installment how will they will do they will do on the installment payment let it be they will make the three installments everyone they will make the three installment first second and third installment first installment 10 days and 20 days and 30 days and 10 days how much percentage 30 percentage means example total invoice value is 1 lakh here 30000 will come 30000 will come and again 30% 30000 will come again uh, Again, 40%, 40,000 will come. 40,000 will come. So, like this manner, like this manner, my customer will make the payment. My customer will make the payment everywhere. So, after posting the invoice, if you generate the reports, all the reports, want to show on which day how much amount will come so based on that inflow and outflow the treasury team will take the decisions your management will take the decision sorry everyone but my health is not good but uh, uh, even uh, make the video and all my voice is not good please don't feel bad okay so everyone <coughs> Let's do that. So this is the scenario everyone for the vendor side and customer side. Better you can note it down. This scenario how to implement in the SAP. For this purpose, how we will create the payment term? How we will create the main payment term? How we will create the sub payment term? Then what is the process? How we will generate the reports? Example everyone, this is the uh, configuration steps everyone. First, we will make, we will create the payment term. Later, we will assign the payment term. Later, we will create the master data. Then later, we will post the invoice. Then later, we will generate the reports. So, how we will do this? What is the process? How the data is flow? How the data is flow? Example, everyone, on the interview, you can explain one flow, everyone. You can explain the flow. Example, example, let us assume here, example in the vendor side, example in the vendor side, example in the vendor side, 
we have two installment every one 10 days and 20 days so this is we are called as a sub payment term example uh, b b1 10 and uh, b1 20 any four digit 10 days and 20 days set up here any four digit for the identification this is payment term where we will create this payment term we are called as a sub payment term where we will create we will create on obb8 obb8 and this sub payment term we are going to assign in the main payment term for example uh, uh, b1 vendor installment payment term b1 vendor installment payment term you can set up here any four digit for the identification <laughs> set up here any four digit example i am going to assign like this i am going to assign like this so where we will create this main payment term this is also we are going to create on the obbh obb8 obb8 so where we will going to assign this main payment term and sub payment term sub payment term and main payment term where we will going to assign we are going to assign in the t code is called mapping obb9 obb9 on obb9 we are going to map the sub payment terms and main payment term so this main payment term we are going to assign in vendor master data vendor master data vendor master data so where we will create the vendor master data everyone vendor master data we will create on t code bp business partner will create on bp business parking and this main payment term is the middleware between sub payment term and vendor master data okay and based on the vendor master data we will post the document entries or invoice postings whatever invoice posting invoice posting okay so where we will post the invoice where we will post the invoice we will post the invoice on t code fb60 p60 based on the vendor invoice we will generate the reports We will generate the reports. So, where we will generate the reports? T code is called. Example T code is called FBL1. FBL1. So, everyone. This is the flow, everyone. This is the flow. So, first we need to create 10 days and 20 days. Then, later we want to create installment payment term. Then, later we want to map the sub payment term and main payment term. Then, later we want to create the vendor master data. During the vendor master data creation, we want to assign this one and b1 vi based on the vendor master data we will post the vendor invoice based on that we will generate the reports better you can note it down this is the flow of the data on the interview you want to explain this how the data is flowing okay how we are going to map how we are going to create better you can explain this okay let it be. Let's create. Go to OBB8. Go to SAP. Everyone, concentrate here. 
go to obb8 obb8 press enter so i want to create 10 days and 20 days payment term so click on your new entry so set up here any four digit and write the description example uh, b1 10 and here uh, a1 and b1 10 days payment term you can write any description okay 10 days payment term for your understanding purpose i am creating new new payment terms okay and this is can be applicable for customers and vendors no sir this can be i can use only for the vendor then remove the tick mark of customer no sir 10 days maybe sometimes i can use for the customers also then you can keep the tick mark of customers and this is want to calculate it from the document date and how many days 10 days 10 days pen number of days 10 days press enter and save press enter and save then one more one more click on your next click on your next and uh, bi or b1 20 and uh, b1 a1 20 days payment of you can write any description everyone Twenty days payment terms. Then this is also calculated from the document date. How many days? Twenty days. Twenty days. Number of days is twenty days. Click on here save. Okay. So we successfully created this one. This. One. Then later we want to create this B one V I vendor installment payment term. Okay. Where we will create same T code everyone this and this same t code this and this same t code okay fatafat going fast let's create this and click on your next example b1 uh, b1 vi uh, a1 b1 in vendor installment payment installment payment term installment payment term so here i can use only for the uh, vendor so remove for the customer so this is also calculated from the document date so number of ins number of installment so this is the installment payment so click on this one click on this installment payment term click on this installment payment term and click on your save click on your save now everyone what i did everyone we successfully created main payment sub payment term and main payment term then we want to map this and this where we will going to map t code is called obb9 this is a very important everyone how you are going to map payment terms and how we are going to specify first and second okay so go to slash and go back now i'm in sap easy access screen go to ob b9 so click on your new entry so what is the payment term payment term is b1 vi and first installment how much percentage 50 percentage how many days b1 10 days so this is called main payment term this is called sub payment term b1 10 b1 vi same thing we created here the next one next one b1 vi second installment 50 percent how many days 20 days for the 20 days what is the payment term b1 20 press enter better note it down this everyone note it down this you can pause the video and note it down. T code and all everything. Click on here, save and back. Okay. So next one. 
Next one, create vendor master data. During the vendor master data creation, you want to assign this payment term. Example, any vendor, what is a vendor everyone? Here, AB098 private limited. This vendor I am going to create. Where it is located? It is located in Balaji Nagar. Jinagar Tirupati. Okay. And uh, this is the address. During the vendor creation, during the vendor creation, we want to assign the payment term. Which payment term? This main payment term we want to assign. Example. Okay. Uh, not this. This one. Okay. Let's create this. What is the T code for creating the vendor master data? T code is called BP business partner. How to create? Let it be. Go to BP business partner. First click on your organization. Select your business partner role. Supplier for financial accounting. Yes, yes. You can enter yes in the keyboard. Start from yes. Click on your create. It is an AI domestic vendors, domestic vendor or domestic business group, whatever. And what is the vendor name? AB098 Private Limited. Private Limited. This is the vendor name. And such term, example AB98. Address. Example address Balaji Nagar House number 8 dash 90123 5300 64 Tirupati Country India Region 01. It's optional. And here pin code. And here you can select the language English. In case if you want to specify it, vendor, telephonic number, mobile number, fax number, email ID, other communication details, you can give it. Then after entering this basic information, what can I do? Everyone, click on your company code. And give it here your company code. IA10. Press enter. Then here you want to assign reconciliation account. Then here you want to assign short key. Then go to payment transaction. Everyone here. Everyone here. Terms of payment. What is the payment term here? This one. B1VI. This B1VI we want to assign in the vendor master data. Everyone this B1VI, B110, B120. This is not a standard. Here you can set up any four digit, up to four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Example, I set up like this. Yeah. Example, everyone. Uh, B1, VI. Press enter. See here. Vendor installment payment term. Then click on your save. Okay. Let's post a vendor invoice everyone. Everyone, let's see, let's observe here. If you post the vendor invoice, if you post the vendor invoice, let's see how the accounting entry will go into generated. Okay. So let's post vendor invoice. Example FB 60. Um, you can take the vendor. First, before going to this, check the company code. My company code is called IA10. IA10 and select the vendor and AB this one AB098 private limited then document date posting date I am taking the 20 then reference I am doing testing tap 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 being vendor invoice posting here you can give any expenses here. Example, I'm taking commission paid. Tap, tap, tap. 1 lakh rupees. 
tap 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 here you can assign the cost center press enter enter again oh note it down this error everyone note it down this error maybe somebody disturbed my configuration this is the two ways everyone either you want to maintain tolerance group for the employees okay otherwise uh, i will tell you one thing everyone note it down this error somebody disturbed my configuration so go to spro sap reference img select your uh, financial accounting financial accounting global setting and here uh, no not like this general ledger accounting business transaction and open item clearing and clearing differences here we maintain tolerance for gl we maintain tolerance for employees and even we are assigning our user to tolerance my user is king but i did not maintain any tolerance group you can keep it empty then save why i'm keeping keep it empty means tolerance group i did not maintain any field in the employees if you go uh, define tolerance group for employee and give it your company code what is my company code ia10 if you double click on this see here in the group level i did not maintain anything i keep it empty that is the reason you don't want to keep any information there for this my user okay that error won't happen now you can post again empty now you can post slash and go back and post again go to your b60 enter and uh, as usual take the vendor and uh, document date posting date whatever date you want and uh, your uh, being vendor invoice posting let's take any expenses and amount 1 lakh then let's take the cost center and press enter enter again then copy this amount control c and paste it here press enter again everyone let's observe this accounting entry everyone click on your simulate see let's observe this uh, entry everyone. 40 means debit 31 means credit expenses account data even purchases also one of the expenses expenses account data two vendor two vendor 50000 and 50000 two installment we want to pay then save let's let's generate the reports everyone then you will find if you go to fbl1n here if you go to take let's take the supplier or vendor let's let's take the vendor and click on your all items then execute see everyone same document number same invoice number two line items were generated the first line item when i want to pay second line item when i want to pay so example if you go to here change layout here you can search net due date net due date everyone otherwise you can click on here find then browse it let's verify all the fields and all okay i want a net day one you can take even i want net due date net due date where is that maybe above net due date this comes where is that net due date go down go down go down net due date where is that yeah due net uh, net due date will come 
maybe let's take this we want net to due date you can check here and there you will find net to due date then click on your copy then if you go to right side then you will find first installment how many days 10 days second installment how many days 20 days okay if you take the net to due date even that net to due date also will come example let's search it instead of why we want to leave change layout uh, net to due date here here everyone move to left side then copy let's see everyone first li first line item second line item when we want to pay the first line item come to left side when we want to pay 30 10 20 23 second line item when we want to pay 9 11 20 23 10 days and 20 days okay like this everyone you same way you can practice for the customer side also everyone okay this is vendor side same way you can practice customer side thank you everyone thanks for seeing if you like this video like don't forget to subscribe and share thank you everyone bye